why anybody who tells you to use Node.js is an idiot. If you don't know what Node.js is, just ignore this video because it won't make any sense to you anyway, and I apologize that I can't give you all of the background information to get you up to speed on why you'd use Node.js, but you're better off for it because Node.js is a complete waste of effing time. Node.js is built on a bunch of lies. Big lies. Not little lies, big lies. The very first line on their website says, Node.js is a platform built on Chrome's JavaScript runtime for easily building fast, scalable network applications. Now, let's start with scalable network and JavaScript. Now, JavaScript is slow. It is very slow. Like, slower than anything else that's out there. It's getting better, you know. Google's done a lot with Chrome and the V8 engine to make JavaScript run faster, but it still sucks. It sucks hardcore. And <laughs> so building fast and building JavaScript ain't happening. No way, no how. Then it says Node.js uses an event-driven, non-blocking I.O. model. Now, what they mean is that Node.js is designed to never have to write to the hard drive, and so it's not blocking. However, you can get blocked for doing CPU things. You know, blocking simply means that a thread has to pause and wait for something to happen. If you say, hey, thread, calculate pi to 100 decimal places, it's going to sit there and do it, and it's going to do it in JavaScript. It's not going to do it in something fast, not going to do it in something compiled. It's going to do it in JavaScript. Tell me that's efficient. So, makes it lightweight. Have you ever said to yourself, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to build something complex in JavaScript because it'll be lightweight? It, it's slow, it's clunky, it's not compiled, it's anything but lightweight. Efficient, we've kind of ruled that out. Perfect for data-intensive, real-time applications that run across distributed devices. Um, if you haven't figured out from my previous set of complaints with the sentences that are on here, um, data-intensive, not going to happen, especially if you're non-blocking I.O., because you either have to be reading the data or you have to be writing the data. And one of those things is going to block something. So you're not going to do data-intensive stuff. Real-time. Well, it's JavaScript, so it's not going to be as real-time as a lot of the other things that are out there. Distributed devices. Well, maybe. Maybe. And they've got these great list of people who are running it. No, you know, Microsoft Node gives Azure users the first end-to-end -end JavaScript experience. That doesn't sound like a good thing to me. Um, freed us from worrying about locking and concurrency issues that are common with multi-thread async I.O. Hard to tell whether that one's real. Um, mobile software stack, executing, yeah, kind of just fluffy stuff. And this one from Microsoft is about how it made JavaScript work with Azure. Kind of sucky. To make it even more sucky, Node requires its own HTTP server. Like, you don't just run, you know, Apache or N N Nginx or any of those. Um, you have to install their thing. And there's a lot of people that are finding that in order to get Node to scale up the way that it should, you have to put a caching proxy in front of it. So you end up running something like Lighty or um, Fugue or Nginx in front of the Node HTTP server so that you can get any kind of scale because otherwise this thing that's supposed to be non-blocking my I.O has definite concurrency issues and doesn't scale up and it consumes huge amounts of resources very quickly. 
So anybody who tells you that Node is going to make your life easier is an idiot. Just just plain and simple. They're pushing you to use something that doesn't follow the CGI standard, which is a bad thing. They're pushing you to use JavaScript, which is generally a bad thing. They're telling you that it's non-blocking, when it is, and they're pushing you to use this weird HTTP server that who knows what weird security issues come from it because it's not well deployed, it's not hugely well tested, it doesn't follow the RFC model, and probably in order to get it to scale, you're going to have to put some other HTTP server in front of it, which gives you double the layer of vulnerabilities. So, anybody who tells you Node.js is an idiot, and they can leave comments about why I'm an idiot, but if you watch the previous video about why we all use CGI and you understood any of this video, you will know that I'm right and the person that told you Node.js is an idiot.